Well, quite the victory here today, an emotional victory for the Warriors. The fans fired up, the team fired up. They knock off the previously unbeaten in the GLIAC, Lake Superior State Lakers by a score of 63 to 60. Rod Beard, uh, you know, you said stay close in the first half. Let's yep. see what happens in the second half. We saw what happened in the second half. Well, it doesn't work all the time. Doesn't I always. It. I can say a lot always. of things. I want you to do that every game. Could you do that every I'll, game now? I'll, I will do it every game <laughs> that I'm here. No, it, it was a, a, a tough fought game, and to be able to pull it out in the last seconds, again, you get a couple of free throws from Marcus Moore, who had just missed two. Yeah. Uh, just says a lot about the fortitude of this team and the jumper that they got from, um, oh, Ronald there's Booth. a blank, Ronald Booth. Yep. <laughs> Uh, was, was just critical. I mean, that's how you execute, and that's why you have seniors and, and upperclassmen to execute for you down the stretch, and they were able to do that tonight. Well, why don't we take a look at some of the video and some of the highlights. There's a lot going on in this one, so stick with us here. Let's get to it, Rod. Yeah, and this was the head-to-head -head battle the entire night. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you saw uh, Kim G. Williams, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, but what took away from his performance eight turnovers and there was the other big factor a double double in the middle for Michael Nicholson 23 points and 10 rebounds he had a whale of a game for the Lakers and Nicholson 23 points and it was interesting with Williams because you know he kept doing so many things but you're absolutely absolutely right the turnovers really hurt him look at Marcus Moore getting everybody involved there yeah, and the sharing the ball is what kept Wayne State in it, along with the defense. I think the defense was just critical in, at the start of that second half. There's Ronald Booth. He had it going all night. Teardropper got that to fall. He was getting everybody involved tonight as well, was three. Yeah, and it was just making the shots, knowing when it was your time and when it was time to distribute to others. And Booth did a lot of that, 17 points. Just one assist, but he had three critical steals and played 38 minutes, all but two minutes of this game. Pivotal second half action. Chuck Key gets her started. Yeah, and, and that's the difference is that they found different spaces for him. And then when he started to face up and he took the, the right shot, this one right there from the elbow, a couple feet behind that, but that's in his range. That's a shot that he can make a little bit more consistently. And when he tuned into that, that's when the shot started to fall. Now you could see Lake State really started to go to their bread and butter to Nicholson, and he was making play after play down low. There's no two ways about that. No, and, and then you get Williams again coming right back down to Nicholson, and he gets a nice put in right here. And so that's when they were chipping away, but it was more Nicholson and Williams than everything else, and they needed another guy or two to get involved with a couple of key shots for them. Now here's Ronald Booth. He was uh, the hero today. Make no mistake about that. Tough Look at this shot. one. That's boy, oh boy. Tough shot in the final minute oh. to get that one to go. And this is the crazy final sequence. Yeah, and, and you just held your breath on that one because it looked like it was right on line. It was just a case of whether it was going to be able to fall in or not. It falls away. Wayne State gets a critical win, especially after that loss on Thursday where they had a double-digit lead against another ranked team in Ferris State. That they're able to pull this one out. And I, th I think that's important for their psyche. Get one of these two against the ranked teams.